Philip. <laughs> it's me, it's Harley. How you doing? It's Harley. Um, I, I got the all clear from Dr. Langham, so I am completely at your disposal. Get you whatever you need. <laughs> And this is a limited one-time offer, so I take it, because once you're back out there in the street, uh-uh. So what can I get you? Can I get you um, some water? Do you want something from a vending machine? You do. And there is a reason for that. Zach drew a picture of the day that you get out of the hospital. The day that he gets his father back. Gus is covering for you, like you asked him to. And I was thinking if something's bothering you, you know, if you feel like something is slipping through the cracks, um, maybe you could tell me and I could tell him and, and he would take care of it. I know what you're doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's Langham wants you to test my memory. No. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I, I came here on my own, Philip. I really do just want to help. Um, so Gus, he gave me the names of some of the key players there. I figured I'd run them by you. You could tell me what you think, and then, um, Gus would have a better idea of what he's dealing with. So I'll just say the names, and then and you tell me what you think. I'll just say the names. Um, Harrison in marketing, Lancaster in bonds, Saunders in law, Green in pharmaceuticals. Now, now there's a guy. You know, he's got a he's got a huge ego. That guy. What do you think about him, Philip? I can't. I can't. I'm tired. You can't? I'm tired. Um, you can't because uh, you know that there's something up with green, or you can't because I'm there's nothing tired. to know? I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I'm tired. You know what? That's okay. You go to sleep. just having trouble figuring out how to make you safe and what I am saving you from. You sleep. I will tell Zach that his daddy loves him and that he can't wait to see him. Your turn. Why? Why? Why or why are we playing checkers? Is that the... Because I'm too smart to play in chess and get a whooping, so it's your turn. Go ahead. Okay, there you go. And now it's my turn. King me. Look at that. I can tell you, that's seven games in a row. You owe me another million dollars. Plus the four million, that's five million. You can pay me Tuesday. Because I know you're good for it. So, the doctor says you've been, like, uh, you know, dozing in and out all day. How you feeling? Everybody asks. Everybody? Somebody come by to visit you? Harley. Really? Hmm. I didn't know that she was coming by. She did. Ooh. How about Big Al? Did he come? No. Not today. Hmm. How's he been? His normal self, obsessive, controlling, compulsive self? No? Ah. 
That's how he shows his love to you, right? Yeah. You two have really been through it, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, I got to, I mean, I'm getting the kinder, gentler Alan, and I got to tell you, I owe you for that big time for breaking him in. I, 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 I appreciate it. I really do. But you see, what you get is you get to know him better than me, really. I mean, you have no reason to think he's not being truthful when he says he wants to see you get better. You know, I mean, because if, if, if he didn't mean it, you would know. You'd feel it. But for me, I don't know. I just, I'm still trying to get to know him, you know? Like, for example, I don't, I don't think that he's ever lied to me. That, that I know of, I don't, I mean, I'm sure he's lied to you, like a thousand, a, a thousand times probably, but to me, uh, not so much, I don't. I mean, do you think that he has anything, anything to lie to me about? 